Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor, board certified through his studies at UCLA, and Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Nita Valens. Hi there, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nita Valens. You look gorgeous and sound great. What's going on with you today? Are you living it up? I'm living it up, and I'm just so excited to help our listeners live it up. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to teach them how to hopefully heal and eradicate their musculoskeletal pain. That means the tendons, ligaments, joints... Uh, arthritis, neck pain, back pain, wrist pain, finger pain, shoulder pain, uh, knee pain, hip pain. Uh, What else we got? Ankles, toes, feet, every kind of syndrome that uh, people think they want to get a surgery for. And uh, it makes me really sad. You know, I talk about this all the time because I have so many patients who come in who just don't get it. They've been through the orthopedic route and they're told that because of their image, meaning an MRI or an X-ray or a CT scan. They need surgery. And then it takes me about an hour to re-educate them that you can't decide how to treat based on an image. That doesn't mean you have pain because you have a bad image. And studies are done all the time. It's in my book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy Regenerate, Don't Operate. Uh, There are studies in here, about 256 studies, I think. There's a couple hundred page book. And by the way, if you call me right now, I'm going to send this out to you for free, even postage free. And the number to the studio is 866-870-5752. Amble on to your pen and paper. I was going to say run, but I don't know if I want you to get hurt. (laughs) Then you'll have to come see me. And um, write this phone number down to the studio at KRLA. That's 866-870-5752. If you um, are too shy, I hope you're not, we want you to call in so we can talk about your musculoskeletal orthopedic issues so you don't have to get a surgery. I've been doing this work for over 25 years, and it is absolutely rare that any of my patients need to get a surgery after we inject them. And this is just simple. It's injections of platelets or stem cells. And that regenerates and regrows tissue and rejuvenates the area. So if you do want to call my office and get more information that we don't talk about today, the number to the office, write this down, is 800 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. If you want to watch me doing procedures, you can watch me on videos. The videos are on my website at www.jointrehab.com, www.jointrehab.com. And there are tons of videos on there of me doing these uh, platelet-rich PRP. It's called platelet-rich plasma injections or stem cell injections. And they're very simple to do. You walk in the office, you get injected, and you walk out. You don't need anybody to drive you. It's a very simple, conservative procedure that alleviates the need, in most cases, for orthopedic surgery. Now, in all candor, it's not going to work on everybody. And the biggest failure rates we have are when people quit treatment too quick. They'll get one treatment. I had someone like that yesterday. They said it didn't work. Well, it's working. It's growing tissue. You just weren't patient enough to do enough treatments um, to get enough tissue to to heal the area. So, you know, it's against the trend that we have in medicine, the culture of operations and medications. I don't give out narcotics. I don't give out uh, pain relief medicines. I am there to fix the area. And also what we do besides the musculoskeletal system is if you are looking in the mirror and not liking what you see, we can inject the same cells, the PRP or the stem cells into your face and regrow the collagen in your face 
and make you look younger, make you feel better. It can also be done on the top of the head. If your hair is starting to thin, if it's all gone, I don't think this is the right treatment for you. But if it started to thin, it can thicken it up. So, Nita, what did the lettuce say to the celery? Move over. That sink is mine. That's not funny, Nita. (laughs) (laughs) What's the real answer? (laughs) What did the lettuce say to the celery? Quit stalking me. Oh, that's a good one. Well, Nita, I'm going to have to hit you with another because we don't have any Okay, but wait, I just have to say one thing we didn't say yet today, that when people call in uh, the program, they get your latest book for free. And it's a really smoking hot book with 264 scientific studies called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. And the subtitle is Regenerate, Don't Operate. And there's there's a picture of uh, a lot of anatomy in here, a lot of photos of me doing the procedures, and I have photos post-surgical of failures. And I've got uh, a picture of my puppies, D- uh, Dakota and Yukon. No, not Yukon. Yukon was my first one years ago. <laughs> I've had five Huskies. Wow. Dakota and Bella. So Dakota moved on to the puppy heaven about a month ago. Oh, I'm sorry. He was, yeah, he was 14 and his body just wore out. It was so sad. Oh. Yeah, really, really sad to see him go down. He could barely walk. And he could, lift, he could hardly lift his head up. I used to throw them treats and they'd catch them in the air. And Dakota couldn't even see them anymore. Oh. And he knew I was throwing him a treat because I'd say treat. And um, it would hit the ground and he'd have to smell around to find it. We had a good run, me and Dakota. And we did run. We ran almost every day together in the mountains. Um, I, would, I would hook the, um, the Huskies' leashes, not leashes, but their collars together and put them on one leash. And they would, I would yell mush, and they would pull me up and down the mountains. <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> I love huskies. But Bella is still kicking pretty good. She's 12, but she looks really, really young, and she's doing great. And um, anyway, um, Nita, what's small and red and has a rough voice? A red ant. Could be. A horse radish. Oh, we're into food today. I get it. Yeah, people are foodies. We got lettuce, got one, we got, got celery, got, we got radishes. Okay, okay. I got one more food one. You ready? I actually got a few more food ones. <laughs> you could say these all day, I bet. <laughs> Why do mushrooms get invited to all the parties? They keep a low profile. Because they're such fun guys. Ah. Anyway. Let's get some callers. Nita's not doing well today. Yeah, really. I mean, you've got to rescue me out of this, folks. 866-870-5752, 866-870-5752. In the meantime, I'm going to go to some questions here. Okay. And uh, there's a spot on every page of my website to email me. And I answer emails before patients, between patients, at night before I go to sleep. And I love communicating with people. All my patients have my personal cell phone and my personal email address. But anyway, if you want to contact me today through my website, there's a spot to email me on every page. And the website is www.jointrehab.com. Okay, question. Herniated discs and sciatica. Whoa. I'm seeking help for degenerative herniated discs and sciatica. Oh, this is terrible. I've had three surgeries in the past, and I'm trying to avoid a fourth smart person. If your treatments might work for my condition, I would love to talk to someone. Okay, so you're talking to me right now. Here's what I find. Most people that have degenerative discs, that means that they're dried out and maybe shrinking down, do not have back pain from that or neck pain. What? My doctor said that's where my neck pain or back pain comes from. No, typically not. Herniated discs, Mm, sometimes, uh, you know, if you have a sciatica, but for actual neck or back pain, nah. A lot of people have herniated discs and have degenerated discs and have no pain at all. How do we know that? It's in my book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. There's studies showing when doctors check people to see if there's anything wrong with them. These are people that have no surge, no pain at all. You know, we we ask people, do you have any pain? They raise their hand, no, I have no pain. We do images on them, x-rays, MRIs, CT scans. 
What do we find? All kinds of junk. Now, if you concomitantly have pain and you have this junk, meaning things that look bad, and that could be rotator cuff tears in the shoulders, it could be meniscal tears in the knees, labral tears, all these things, and you're having pain, the doctor in his brilliance goes, look, there's where the pain is coming from. Look, look at that image. And unfortunately or fortunately, that's not true. Because the studies show you can have these things without having pain. So what I do is I touch the body. And I know a lot of you folks listening have had surgeries that have failed. And the surgeon never even touched you or examined you. They just put the MRI or x-ray up on the, on the light box and showed you or on the computer and showed you where your problem is and operated. It didn't work. Why? It wasn't the problem. Be careful. Avoid surgery if you can. It's very invasive. Here's this poor person that's had three back surgeries trying to avoid a fourth surgery. They need somebody like me who can touch the body and find where the pain is coming from. And if they find it, to use PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or stem cells to inject the area and fix it. Regrow the tissue. Okay? I hope that makes sense to people. Hope so. So my phone number right now, give me a buzz. Ready? 866-870-5752. I would love to talk to you. Don't be shy. You can use a fake name if you like. And if you want to call the office, that's 800-300-9300. If you want to watch me do videos, watch me do these procedures on videos, go to www.jointrehab.com. Or you can just Google Mark Darrow, M-D, that's me, M-A-R-C-D-A-R-R-O-W.com. And uh, you can go to YouTube. I've got tons of videos there. And um, I am hopefully saving people from surgery every single day. As my listeners know, I had a shoulder surgery when I was in medical school that screwed me up. And I don't blame the surgeon. It's just kind of what happens. Things happen when you're in medicine. There are people that die from taking a medication that seem like it should be good for them. I've seen people die on the table during surgery. Um, I had the unfortunate experience of my shoulder, which was not that bad, uh, being operated on and came out terrible. It swelled up like a balloon, had a high fever, and it was about four years of misery, decreased range of motion and pain until I discovered what we call regenerative medicine. I injected my own shoulder, and it's a funny story. I came home with a syringe, and my wife was watching TV in bed, and I hopped in bed, and I pulled out my syringe, and she started uh, swearing at me, like, what the heck are you doing? And I said, well, this worked on my wrist. It fixed my wrist. Now I'm going to try it on my shoulder. Next morning, I woke up completely pain-free with full range of motion doesn't always work like that. I'm not trying to give you false hope, but it works really, really well. Um, I've been doing this for more than 25 years. I've probably got the busiest practice on the planet. And um, we do have a new doc with us also, Thomas Grove. And um, he's very, very well trained in regenerative medicine. And I'm very excited to have him on board. So come on and meet him too. You can find him on the website also. He's got a lot of sports training. He's been to 50 countries training athletes. His name is Thomas Grove, G-R-O-V-E. And I'm Mark Darrow, M-A-R-C-D-A-R-R-O-W. You can find us both on our website, www.jointrehab.com. All right, Nita, I'm going to go to a tennis elbow question. Mother, may I? Yes. (laughs) Give the phone number again first. Once more. Give me a call. Come on. Otherwise, I'm going to make Nita answer jokes she doesn't know the answer to. and she'll Yeah, really. It's humiliating, really. Come on, folks. <laughs> okay, Nita, I'm going to hit you with one more before I, before I <laughs> Oh, no, no. I think the tennis elbow is infinitely more important. <laughs> so, Nita, this is easy for you. Why shouldn't you tell secrets in a cornfield? Because. Uh, there's too many ears. Mmm, that's right. I used to grow corn. I should have known that. Seriously, in Seriously. your backyard or in your house? Um, I We had a yard when I was uh, a young 
girl, and uh, I grew carrots, and Isn't I grew fun? corn. This is in Colorado. You were off the grid. Uh, oh, yeah. I would <laughs> love to be able to do that again. You know what I used to grow? It's hysterical. My dad loved coffee. And back in the oh, day, wow. well, I, don't, I don't even know what coffee looks like because I never drank it. But back in the day, it came in these big cans. Do you remember those? Yeah, I do. So I would take the cans that he discarded after he finished the coffee, and I'd put some mud in there from the backyard, and I would plant grass. That was my big thing. I planted grass, and I grew grass in the house, and it was so cute. That's so I, cute. I would cut it down every few days so it looked like a little crew cut. Oh, do people wear crew cuts anymore? Um, I often. think that like I hear 1940 calling me and saying they want their crew cuts back. Let's talk to Lewis in Los Angeles. Lewis, Dr. Mark Darrow. How are you today? Your back is hurt. And I understand what's going on. How long has it been there? No, 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 doc. Uh, I'm calling for my son. Okay. Okay. He is a 35 year old. And he says that the doctors told him that he has bone spurs on his back okay. as a result, I think, of uh, he used to be like into uh, those sports, like uh, uh, what do you call it, thrill sports when he was younger. Sure. Me too. <laughs> okay. And guess and, what? Uh, I've got spurs all over my back. As a matter yeah, of fact, and- I have, I just want to tell you about this so you, so you don't get alarmed at what your son has. I have what's called a bamboo spine. It's all calcified. Can I play golf? Oh yeah. God. Can I go running in the mountains? Yeah. I was hiking on the beach last night. I'm active. I run in the mountains almost every single day. So wow. when you get a diagnosis like that, you know, bone spurs, it doesn't really mean anything. It could, but it may mean nothing. He may just have some ligament laxity, or what we call an enthesopathy. The enthesis is where the ligaments or tendons or muscles attach to bone. Now, if you were to coerce him into my office, I could tell him literally in about 10 seconds what's going on by touching and moving him around. It's a quick exam okay, for the he back. Says he's in pain all the time. I get and- it. I get it. But pain doesn't mean it's coming from something like a bone spur. What I try to impart to all my patients is, please don't get sucked into a diagnosis. I think the most important thing I can do for any patient is take away their diagnosis. Nobody needs a diagnosis. We need to find out what the problem is and fix it. The diagnosis scares people, and then it leads them to a surgery they never needed. Correct. Absolutely, yeah. Where does where does your son live, Lewis? Uh, he lives in Venice, in Venice, okay. California. I mean, he's all right. Well, he's close by. I'm at I'm across uh, the freeway from UCLA, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, why don't you go to the website, which is www.jointrehab.com, and he can email me from there. Every page has an email spot, um, or you can just call the office eight hundred three hundred ninety three hundred. I'm thinking there's nothing okay. wrong with your son's back from what you're telling me. It doesn't sound terrible and probably okay. easy to yeah. fix. All I, yeah, all I know is he's in constant pain, he says, and, you know, uh, he used to do the skateboarding and all this stuff. Sure, sure. Younger. I get tons of those guys. Yeah. I've got okay, every, well, I've got every athlete on the out. planet that comes in, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, thank you. I, I, I'll, I'll call that number and make an appointment because he's seen several doctors without me yeah and i would rather you know have well uh, trad- i'm just going to put it you, like this lewis go with you and, yeah and have listen him, listen have to this statement i just made it up traditional medicine <laughs> sucks <laughs> <laughs> i am sorry i think uh, it is just so stupid i know how to do it i'm very familiar with it I've studied it for over 25, 30 years, but it fails us. Traditional medicine fails us every day. Now, if you're dying, go to the ER, and they might be able to keep you alive. That's the part of traditional medicine that's pretty cool. But when it comes to things like pain, it's way behind the time. It's dinosaurs that are doing that medicine that will not step up to the bat to learn what's really going on right now. 
which is regenerative yeah. medicine. It's the new kid on the medicine block in orthopedics. And I don't know why orthopedic surgeons are not doing it. They will try it once and say it didn't work and then operate. Well, it doesn't always work the first time. Sometimes it takes a while to grow enough tissue and enough treatments to help heal and rejuvenate and regenerate that area. Yeah. So. No, no. And, and, and I'm, a, I'm an old time. Uh, to me, I'm, the back is a very delicate, you know, area. And I'm like, to me, it's like reminds me of the old TV sets when you would pull them open in the old uh, days and you see all the wires <laughs> attached to it, you know, and the, and the wiring and, so uh, to me, the back is very delicate. So uh, Well, the back you know, is not really more way. delicate than anything else. Uh, yeah, well, uh, it's no, it's not. Let me, let me explain something. The back seems more delicate because there's a lot of sensationalism about the back because there's a lot of back surgeries that go on. There's a lot of epidurals. There's, there's rhizotomies where they burn the nerves. There's all kinds of exotic things that are not needed in most cases. And... You know, what I always tell people, they come in, they go, I've got to get a back surgery, neck surgery. And I touch them and I go, you don't need that at all. And they go, what do you mean? I've been to neurosurgeons, orthopedic surgeons. They all say I do. I say your MRI says it, but your exam says the opposite, that you don't need it. So you got to be careful. Stay conservative oh, yeah, in medicine. Yeah. The first law of medicine is do no harm. Don't jump yeah. to something invasive when there's somebody out there who can help you conservatively. Now, did you ever like the Three Stooges when you were young, Lewis? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to tell you something else when you But I didn't finish. <laughs> you get Go your ahead, turn me, after please. me. Three Stooges. <laughs> it's one of the Three Stooges. Remember when they'd say, I've got a week back? And the other guy would go, yes. how, how long for? And the guy would go, about a week back. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to, curly. Yeah. yeah, I don't mean to diminimize back pain or neck pain or pain anywhere because it could be miserable. But I, I oh, am no, no. I am emphasizing that surgery is typically not the answer. I've had patients with literally dead legs with ten millimeter herniated discs that we've been able to help that were that were bound for surgery and never needed it. Oh, Doc, if, if I told you, I mean, um, I'm an old guy, okay? And um, one of my favorite actors in the, in the late 50s was a gentleman, strong, healthy, young, well, it wasn't that, well, young, come relative speaking for us, Jeff Chandler, who went oh, into I remember a back him, yeah. operation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very gr premature, gray, yep. six foot four, handsome, rugby. Real handsome guy. dude, yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, something went wrong. He went in for, he had back pain, back problem, and he never came out of the hospital. You know, he well, died in the hospital. You know, it's all you know. too common. I'm not saying it's the greatest percentage of things. Obviously, it's not. But yeah. if, if oh, it's 1% you know, or my, 3% my, my of people Ricardo, that have problems from surgery. My, my friend was Ricardo Montalban, and they told him that if he didn't get back surgery, he'd wind up in a wheelchair. Yeah, I've heard the story and over and over. He wound up, and he and guess what? He had the surgery, and he wound up in a wheelchair. No, and I'm he so later sorry for uh, that. told me that if he would have known what he was going to go through, he would not have had that yeah. surgery. And look, you know, to be candor with you, a lot of these surgeries work really great, especially the real conservative ones. There's a guy in Beverly Hills, David Ditsworth. I don't know if he's still working. He does a needlescopic back surgery where um, he goes in with these basically very small needles and can take out disc material. And then there's just a Band-Aid on top of it. There's very little sequelae. Wow. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, if you're going to do a surgery, do the conservative one instead of cracking it open. And uh, there's heart surgeries like that now. There's all kinds of surgeries. I actually had a pheochromocytoma, which was an adrenal tumor, removed mm. laparoscopically like that. We're going to the break, Lewis. If you want to stick with us, we're glad to talk to you some more. This is KRLA Living Pain-Free, Dr. Mark Darrow. And the phone number to the studio is 866-870-5752. Call me. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we'll be right back. 
You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. 